I'm not scared. I'm not scared. Uh oh. What's that? It's a cave. We can go over it. We can go under it. We're just gonna have to go. It I was enjoying that. Oh, um, spoiler alert. It's a bear. Phoebe doesn't understand a word of it. But you know what Sam's like. She'll have a PhD by the time she's three. <laughs> oh my god. There's still so much to do. We could have her sky jarred. Oh, no, no. Sam's been waiting for this moment for weeks now. Oh? When did he get back? An hour ago. No surprise he'd be late. Mm. He'll be down soon. You look good. I look tired. Ben Chelsea, sorry. Oh, Mr. Bear. <laughs> she loves it. Fortunately, I never know what to say it was her or tequila. Oh, wait. I can't believe I haven't met her yet. Oh, it's me though, I've been so busy. Lots of new patients. No, it's our fault. The first year, you know what it's like. We don't really see other people. Just other people with babies, you know? Breeders, you must be desperate to get back to work. Or not? Well, I miss having the pupils. Having your own kids way more stressful. Sometimes I pretend I need to poop just so I can hide in there. <laughs> Being there are particularly tricky patients. Wow, Jenny, your toilet! Oh dear. It's an absolute beauty. <laughs> Pen love his bathroom. Ha, quality tiling, nice sink, lovely action on the flush. Bloody gorgeous. Hey, give it a go, Laura. Have a wee. <laughs> Maybe later. Ha, honey, lavender and goat's milk. <laughs> it's a pleasure to wash my hands. I did it twice. <laughs> Ben doesn't get on much. Hey, Lars! Sammy! Come on, come on, give me a hug. Oh, a long time no see. Come on. Oh. Hey, sorry, Phoebe took a while to nod off. Oh, wait, this is Ben. Sam, Sam, Ben. Hey, hello, mate. Pleasure. Come on. Is everything all right? Oh, she's fine. I haven't been with that long. Jenny worries I might accidentally throw Phoebe out the window. And yes, I closed it. Sam's convinced Phoebe needs fresh air. Oh, does he still say that? What? Your catchphrase. I think you will find. University Christian, everything tired here. <clears throat> it's the Battle of Hastings 1065. I think you will find. 1066. I think. <sighs> Same old Sam. I even printed on a t-shirt. You never wrote it. I think you'll find that I did. University Quiz Grand Final. You were too pissed to notice. Ah, oh, same with Lars. Hey, good era this place is. It's perfect, Jen. It was the first house we saw. Jen wasn't sure, but I knew. Oh, Ben used to live around here. Oh yeah, as a kid, back in the dark ages. But this uh, cost a bit. Well, it belonged to a widow, Margaret. Lived here for 40 years. Wow, it is massive. Yeah. Room for four. We're trying it again. <laughs> All right. Big job, I mean, with a house. Huge! It was like a museum to Margaret's ugh, terrible taste. 70s wallpaper, thick carpets, ugh, everything was brown and beige. Yeah, it was full of all these wonky shelves her husband Frank had made. Ooh, it was good with the tons. My Frank could knock up anything. Cupboards, shelves, even the next door neighbor. Sam! Sorry, but she was weird. She was sad. Can you imagine what it felt like? Living here, all alone, surrounded by, you know, 
shaped gaps? Yes, Frank shaped gaps. It was like the whole house was missing someone. Uh, anyway, we ripped it out, knocked through, made it ours. Hey, have a look around. You can peep in on Phoebe. Sure. Well, I don't think much of them. He's nervous and he could have changed, Sam. You know, he did her bathroom. <clears throat> don't you think that's weird? Hooking up with your own builder? Not really. I think Lauren's having an early midlife crisis. Hitting 40 and bonking builders. You never like her boyfriend. No. You all right? I'm tired, Sam. Why were you so late? It was a difficult journey. <gasps> your, your hands are cold. <sighs> God, I bloody love these doors! Mom, Mom says it feels like someone's out there watching. She's a Catholic. She always thinks someone's watching. I missed you so much. But not enough to call? I lost my bloody phone. Look, I know it's not been easy. <laughs> She's a asleep. You, you did the right thing, putting her back in her own room. Trust me, it will stop. Whoa, it makes my flat looks like a shoebox. <laughs> oh, work in progress. Oh, is it too bright in here? Hey, Luz, watch this. Alexa, dim the dining room lights. Hmm? Oh, bollocks. You've got to say it louder. Alexa, dim the dining room lights. Okay. Oh, yeah. You should get one, Luz. Helps with all sorts of things. That's why I got Ben. Can you set the table? Oh, I'll do that. Is it new? Oh, God, no. Uh, it's one of Frank's. Margaret left it. You know, she was only my mom's age. How's her mom? Missing us. The old flat was so close to them. Yeah. Hey, Lauren said uh, you've been away? Yeah, business trip. Hmm. Mom's distracting herself. Off to the Channel Islands. Planning the christening, actually. Phoebe's nearly one. Hmm. Shit! Is she still banging about that? It's the only island with dark sky status. No light pollution. Mmm, perfect place to view the stars. You're into that? Stars? Sam's writing a book. Astronomy for idiots. My attempt to explain the universe in a way that will feel stalking for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, expect an invite. I'm here hanging out for a repeat of our wedding. Full Catholic servants. As we see our vows, the church is hit by lightning. <laughs> it's true. Jen's mom turns to her dad and says, I told you he wasn't happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're not religious then? No, you? Not me, I'm spiritual. I believe in something, well, nothing weird. Just I believe my mom's out there, you know, watching down on me. Really? As an angel. Blimey. And I believe in reincarnation. I know I've lived before. Sam. Wait, where did you live before? Me? I, um, French Revolution. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, don't tell me, you're still smoking on your mess. Please, oh God. Like, reincarnation of my ass? What? Sorry, mate. I'm going to check the garden for a bit. Ugh, what's the smell? Oh, uh, foxes. There's a den somewhere nearby. Got a nasty bite as well. Oh, in that case, I'm gonna pop out. Don't want Ben to be foxed through, am I right? <laughs> He's even worse than I thought when he said he was reincarnated. <gasps> Holy shit, and Bernard! Sam, you always do this. Just talk, talk, talk while I do everything else. Read the room. It's a long night coming. So, like, what do we even talk about, huh? Louis the Sixteen? Huh? For or against? Hey, what is that? Mom brought it around. I was going to put it in Phoebe's room. Send it back now. Not until we talk about this. We did! Right, I just couldn't hear it over your voice. <sighs> Sammy, the window in your daughter's room, it was open. It's mm. not! Well, it was the case curtains, right? It's widely open. I assure you it's not! Sam! <sighs> Sorry, we didn't mean to. It's just cold tonight. Ooh, this looks delicious, Jenny. That's very good, eh? I have to brace myself. <laughs> it makes your peace melt, doesn't it? This is why she doesn't bring me out. Hmm. Odd enough, eh? Do you think there's a scientific reason? I'm sure Sam will know. Jen? Sorry? Um, yeah, uh, 
It must have changed a lot around here since you were a kid, Ben. Oh yeah, it's layers, isn't it? There was all the Cockneys and the Asians come and the Poles, but now nice people like you. But there's still a little bit of everything somewhere underneath, like uh, like wallpaper. <sighs> it was open. But you said I must have forgot. Did you? I must have. Oh, don't get like that. Perfect time. Did you wake her? No, oh for Christ's sake, leave her a moment. I wish you hadn't done it. Had a kid? No. Ever wish you had? Oh, God. Hey, sorry, Laz. It's just, I'm tired. How's work? Depressing. Kind of found it. Like the whole NHS. Oh, shit. <laughs> and that's the foxes. At night, when I'm writing, I can hear them running outside, screaming and mating. Hey, not hungry? No. Fancy some music? Alexa, play my dinner party playlist. Oh, come on. <laughs> Alexa, pretty please play some dinner party playlist. Okay. All right, Jenny's done something to her boss that was away. The window was open. What? It, it was still open. But I, is the sash broken? I, I don't know, it must be. It's so good. Sam. You know why asparagus makes your pee smell? Uh, it contains a sulfurous compound when your digestive system... It's her room! Jen, Jen, are you okay? It's nothing. Really? You want to do this now? Like, I didn't want to tell y'all, but it seems like we have a ghost. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> like, I've come home to find out that the house is... <laughs> when you say... Haunted? You make it sound like it's not What's real. Sorry, you are not joking. This is actually a thing? No! Oh, come on! <laughs> now I really want to know. Sweetie, you're going to look mad. Lex, I'll turn the music off. Okay. Oi, Ben too? Look, while the builders were here, Phoebe was in with us. When they left... We decided to put her in her own room. It wasn't ready, but Sam insisted. She's 11 months. Auto manual says it's best for everyone to have their own space. During the night, I had the monitor next to our bed so that if she cried, I could go feed her. First night, Jenny said Phoebe seemed unsettled, but she always is. Only since we moved here. It's developmental. <sighs> on Tuesday, Sam went, on, went away on his trip. Bad timing. I had a book for a month. That night, I heard something coming through the monitors. And it wasn't Phoebe. I heard footsteps. Someone walking on the floorboards in her room. Blimey. I, I didn't know what to do. I, I grabbed my phone thinking, do I call the police? I know I have. I was breaking it. But I thought I had to do something. So I, so I went up to the door. And I could still hear it, loud. Someone was walking on the floorboards in a room, in a circle. Hard shoes. Round and round and round the cot. Jesus. So I, fuck. This still feels like the bravest thing I've ever done. I went up to a door, I, I opened it, I turned on the light and the room was empty. There was no one there. It's a well-known fact. Ghosts are scared of electricity. They're like the Amish. Sam, please. What happened to your doctor then? She was she's still asleep. And I could imagine Sam laughing, saying, you're knackered, you're hearing things. And, and I thought he'd be right because I, I don't believe in ghosts. Well, I do. Oh, of course you do. I, I thought it was a weird dream or I don't know my brain. But then it happened again. The same thing? Yes, and this is the strangest hit. It happened at the same time. Because I'd looked at my phone the first and the second. It was 2.22. Coincidence. What'd you do, what did you do then? I tried calling Sam again and fucking again. Sammy, you'll have your wife soon in the house. Oh, this isn't the exorcist. I lost my bloody phone. The one pissed off her dark sky island. Uh, this is so stupid. something down a hill. This is, this this is, is so no hope stupid. of finding it again. Come on, Sam, this is so stupid. I, I called the police. They thought I was loopy. I, I probably did too, except... It happened again? On Thursday, I, I made my mom come over. I sat outside Phoebe's door 
and mom was in our bed, except you see, was just lying awake. And we both heard footsteps at 222. And she doesn't believe in ghosts either. Oh, apart from the Holy One and Jesus, though technically he's a zombie. St stop it. Stop making it seem ridiculous. I'm sorry. Look, there's so many things in old houses that make strange noises. Creaky floorboards, mice. Oh, it could be electrical. It stopped when you flicked the light switch, right? Dodgy circuit ticking behind a wall. Tick, clunk, tick, clunk. <gasps> footsteps. It isn't just footsteps. Last night, I decided to stay up again. I wanted to, to prove to myself it was real. Before you came home, here, I painted right here. And then at 2.21, I went to check up on Phoebe in our room. A minute later, it came, walking round and round. Tick, clunk. Except this time, tick. I also heard a voice. Clunk. Wait, sorry? Wait, why didn't you tell me this? Because I knew what you'd say. Wait. This is completely mental. Wait, what would I say? This is completely mental, Sam. It was a man's voice. What was he saying? No, nothing. He, it, it was crying. I turned on the light and the room was empty. Just me and Phoebe's bear caught, but, but I could still feel it. Someone was still in the room. Sweetheart, this is nuts. It didn't... What? It was a dream. I, I wasn't asleep. Well... Sam, it happened! Four nights running! You've got yourself wound up! Do you believe me? I should have been there! Do you believe me? Let's move on! Do you believe in your wife?! Hey, sorry guys, this is too embarrassing. Do you want us to go? No! Of course not! I want you all to stay! Absolutely! Okay. Until 2.22. Jen? <laughs> what? Are you serious? Yes. I want them all to be here as witnesses when you hear it too. She's fast asleep. No signs of ectoplasm. I can hear you! I got cold. You'd expect it on the vision. Pardon? That's what they call it when they investigate a haunted house. Oh my god. Let me guess. You've done this before too. Yeah, a few stately homes. You used to take mom. You pay your money and then they let you stay the night. There's always a cold spot where the activity is. I had to get freaked out here, all alone in the dark. I wasn't alone though. That's the that's the weirdest thing. All, all this time Sam's been away, I felt like something's here and it never leaves. And there she is. <sighs> Sam, does that thing make you paranoid? We were glued to it nonstop. We thought if we put it down, Phoebe would breathe or laugh. Oh, don't joke. I'm not. First night we brought her home. I don't think I've ever been so scared. I challenge anyone to be a parent and not be permanently terrified. It's freezing, Sam. Can we all agree that a ghost has broken down the boiler? I do not think so, you sarcastic twat. Okay, this is his evil plan. First, the heating, then the lights, and finally, most terrifyingly of all, the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Alexa, can you protect everyone apart from Sam? I don't understand the question. Hey. I can take a look at the boiler for you. Oh, thank you. Us builders work hard. I, it can't hurt if I take a peek. Thank you. <sighs> a magnetic toy. Error rise and falls on Phoebe's breath. Sometimes we're not even sure if it's her. Back when baby monitors were, been, were invented, they were called radio nurses. They were all on the same frequency, so people heard phantom noises on other monitors. Screams and cries of a child several streets away still happens too. So there's a good chance your ghost is right over there. 
real full stop. Like in someone else's house. And at the same time, every night. Mom and dad get home from work every night. Goes to check on the kid, huh? Gazing at Dorley as they walk round and round the cart. It's good enough. But it isn't just footsteps. And the crying. That kid didn't come through the monitor. That was real, next to me. And fucking horrible. Thermostat was turned off. Oh, thank you, Ben. This might sound thick, but does it have to be another explanation? Why can't it be a ghost? Laws of thermodynamics. Things cannot appear and disappear. In your opinion, anyway, I've had experiences I don't think you can explain with science. On your visuals? Things that have properly freaked me out. That's because you're a lizard. <laughs> Sorry. Our brain has three parts. The monkey governs reason, mouse control the desire, and at the bottom, the lizard. Primal instinct protects us from predators. Fun fact, you know why hound house feel cold? We are scared the lizard diverts blood from hands and feet to vital organs. It's not the house that's freezing, it's you. There's even logic to shitting yourself. Ooh, less attractive meal. Interesting is, instinct can shut down reason. Lizard versus monkey. Lizard wins. Right, but if ghosts don't exist, why do people see them? You know, we're constantly seeing what is in there. We see the plow instead of a bunch of stars, right? Either way, the laws of thermodynamics are really hard to understand. Ghosts are the easy answer. Listen, I know what I heard, and tonight, you'll hear it too. I told you kids were creepy. Oh, we need another drink. If we're about to disprove the laws of physics, then my psychiatry evaluation is that we all need to be absolutely wasted. It's all right, darling. Mommy's here now. Maybe we should call it a night, you know? Ask the ghost to reschedule. Mm. I know a place around the corner for drinks. All right. What do you fancy, huh? Red, white, beer, <gasps> spirits. <laughs> All of them. And boys play nicely. Oh. I'll be gentle. Hey, come on, mate. You can tell me more about your past lives. <sighs> Look out! Guillotine! Shh, baby, I love you. Sleep well. Oh, shit! Oh, they went to get drinks. Sam, say one is a subcaste pasta. Huh? but we laugh along. Oh sure, on to the target. I moved her back into her room. You probably think I'm crazy too. Please, I work in mental health. I think everyone's crazy. You are just frightened, I can see that. I've, I've been scared before, but like normal scared. This is different. When I heard it crying, I, I screamed. The police thought I was nuts. I'm dreading the day they call back. It's not stupid. Fears what kept humans alive for millions of years. When I was young, my parents would drive us out to visit those ghost towns down south. My brother and I used to run around the shacks, try to make glee phantoms. We just assumed ghosts were real back then. But have you ever seen one? Well, something happened to me once that didn't make sense. Go on. I was 13. There was a girl in my class called Ida. I loved her. She had this awesome braid red hair that defined gravity. She was so beautiful and clever. We used to sit in her bedroom, listen to Nirvana, chat for hours. <laughs> and she kept parakeets in her. Aww. They fly around in her room and she was, she was training them to talk. How sweet. Yeah. We lived in this small and dull town. And she was the only person I felt understood me. But she wasn't happy. Didn't like her stepdad. One Saturday, I came back from the mall. And my parents told me that I don't respond to that. Bloody hell. She had fallen from her bedroom window hung to the street. 
Well, people thought she was pushed by her stepfather, but that day, she was alone. So? So, most likely there was one of the parakeets had flown out of the window and Ida tried to catch it. Oh dear. I was heartbroken. And, and afterwards, you, you saw her again? No, I, that I've understood, but it was before I heard. The afternoon I saw her at a mall, in one of those blast elevators going up, her hair like this beautiful explosion, and she smiled and waved to me. And only she died in the morning. She must have been dead for hours by then. Have you told anyone? Just one other. It seems crazy, you know. Right, except it was the opposite for me. I thought I'd go mad if I didn't tell anyone. But maybe you don't have to be afraid. Four years after Ida died, I could still hear parakeets at night. Creepy. Not quite. I found it comforting. Ghosts filled gaps. And Margaret, maybe that table and tones aren't the only thing she left behind. <laughs> the holy sons of bestial sex. Ben seems nice. Was that speaking of business there? Oh, no, no, no. I, I just meant he's a good guy. <laughs> Sam hates him. Oh, him and his ridiculously high standards. That's why he married you. Oh, no, I... I I'm just joking. Ben's good enough. Thank you for staying, by the way. For 20 years, I've never seen Sam be proven wrong. Not once. And tonight, could be his story. Don't tell me, ghost. Listen, I'm sorry, Lauren. But I don't think this is like your parakeets. It's not comforting. Oh, Phoebe. The booze hunters return. Hey, stick him there, mate. Hey, where's your wife? It's okay. There are your bedroom. How was it? <laughs> Fine, do we have to pay? I look around, she's standing outside, waiting. What is she doing here? Shh! I'll pay money. Wouldn't have minded except he chose it all. Jen, put her in her cot. No! You should have seen him showing off in a corner shop. Jen? <laughs> Oh no, Ben, I think we're going for something a little more robust. Maybe a cheeky little South African number, mate. Gent! Hey, the way people would like him say mate, like we're in a bloody safari trying to fit in with the natives. Take her back to her room now. Sam's one of my oldest friends. Give me one good reason. Right. She could roll off our bed. Oh, so now you're so worried. And maybe a bit more than that? Back in the day? Just do it, Jenny! Oh, for Christ's sake! No! Much to your disappointment. Fuck you! Sorry, I forgot. Getting to people's heads, that's your job. I'm just good with my hands. This room is not safe! It's fine. Night night, Baba. Hey, wish it was yours. Mommy and Daddy love you. Should've married me, Sammy. I think you're fine. You, you all right, Lars? Of course. I just need bathroom. God, I need a drink. Everything okay? Mate? Yes, mate. Shit! Lauren? <sighs> this was in the sink, in the pool of water. Mr. Bear! He just gave me a shock. That's not water. Smell. White spirit. The sink is full of it. Did you do that? What do you think? Ben? Of course bloody no. I haven't been there since before fucking dinner. Oh, you took awfully long in there. Stop it! How how did the bear get in there? I don't know. Wait, where was it? I, I I put it here when I was tidying. I saw her. Yeah, and I, and I put the white spirit in here. 
the, the, the bottle must have leaked. Safety cap is still on. It's a poltergeist. Oh, for crying out loud. Stop. It's not impossible. It's just odd. How, how, how does a teddy bear move itself, Sam? Okay, let's just... She, Jesus, what, what if Phoebe found it? Jenny, she's barely crawling on no, the floor. No, it's, it's, it's a toy and, and it's poisonous, Sam. This is, this is horrible. There will be a simple explanation, okay? No. I'll work it out. No, this, this feels like a warning. Jen, oh, trust a, me. A threat, like like the window in your room, and I can't trust you anymore, Sam. How, how does the bear move itself? Come on. The, whatever this thing is, it, it's not in her bedroom anymore. There isn't a thing. It's 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 getting closer. <laughs> oh, it's foxes. Jesus, look at you all. There will be an explanation. Yeah, go on, mate. Things cannot appear and disappear. You're wrong, Sam. This is it. He's coming. Sorry, Laurie. Filthy habits. I can't take this anymore. I need to go to the loo, but I don't want to go in there. Well, this is what you like on the visual. I was at this haunted pub once in Essex, waited for hours and nothing happened. And two, a pint glass flew across the room. <laughs> <laughs> Average night out in Essex. I think we all need a drink. Go something essential. This will get us to 2.22. drinking game. <laughs> oh, come on, like the old days. True or dare? No. A quiz. <sighs> if you can answer my questions, I drink. If you can't, you drink. Deal. Alexa, dim the living room lights. <sighs> Bloody hell, Jen, what have you done with her? She's showing female solidarity. Alexa, Please dim the dining room lights. Okay. Perfect. It's time to play Do Ghosts Exist? Oh, Jesus. I'm living with it. Fingers on buzzers. Question one. If ghosts exist, why aren't there absolutely loads of them? What do you mean? Why aren't they flooding into our world in their thousands? Think about it. If there's a portal from the afterlife that lets you see your family one last time, you'd be straight in there. Gods, I'll be showing off for sure. Walking through walls, spring ectoplasm. Maybe it's not easy to travel. Could be a difficult journey, and only a few make it. Good answer. That was easy. Question two. Geography. The most popular locations for ghost sightings are... Castles. Uh, monasteries. Oh, those are just for famous ghosts. I bet most appear in ordinary houses. Agreed. The vast majority of ghost sightings are in a domestic situation. So? How many people die in their houses? Think about family, aunties, uncles, grandparents. Where do they take their last breath? In hospitals. Yes. It's not where we see ghosts. It's where we don't see them if they really all haunt the place of their death. Uh, they will be in hospitals. <sighs> One all. Question three. Why aren't ghosts naked? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Clothes don't die. <laughs> Do we know that? Yes. New ghosts? That's enough for me. Wait, you're confusing ghosts and zombies. Not a sentence I thought I'd hear. Ghosts are literally dead people walking around. They're more like Facebook. Right. Every day, Facebook offers you memories. This is you seven years ago, falling out of a taxi in Ibiza. You can ignore them, but sometimes one sticks out, sets up an emotional response. 
a birth, a death. Maybe ghosts are the universe doing that. Certain people got chosen. From the scrolling feed of death? I get where Jenny is going. Maybe the universe thinks they deserve a second chance. Or something really big or awful happened to them. But physical objects like clothes, that's irrelevant. We're talking about emotion here. Love, hate, regret. A memory comes to life. I prefer that one. I like it too, but it's nonsense. You can't see a memory. Can you? What about the stars? You once told me it takes so long for their light to reach us that what we see now is how they were in the past. Look through a telescope and find a hundred billion ghosts. Drink, 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 drink. drink. All right, fine. Two one to Team Belief. Next. Question four. This is a big one. Communication. Let's go back to that portal from the afterlife theory. You're dead, you discover the portal, and it's a really arduous journey. You risk your place in the afterlife to see your family one last time because you want to tell them you love them. Uh, things are going to be okay. Where the money is buried. <laughs> Great, it's bloody important, right? And the words you choose to convey this vital message to the people you care about more than anything else in the world. Oh, <laughs> no funny. Bastard. He's right though. Why wait till the dead of night? Wake her family up to scare the crap of them. Thank you, Laws, or playing games like, oh, I'll let them know I'm okay by making that clock fall off the wall. <laughs> Why are the ghosts so stupid? So unhuman. We're obsessed with communication. We do it nonstop. Thousands of years honing it in until we can send a message within the click of a button. And then we forget all that. I believe an email from the dead or WhatsApp message. That'll feel much more realistic for sure. Cheers. Cheers. <sighs> to all. But what if they're damaged? Pardon? Like someone with dementia. A ghost is a fragment of a person. Confused, scared, the picture falling is to get attention. The more we ignore them, the more desperate they become. Question number five. The tiebreaker. What happened with Mr. Bear? You never did explain. Like I said, you must have put it in the cupboard when you were tidying up, and then it fell into the sink. What about the white spirit? Ah, uh, hundreds of possibilities. Cracked in the bottle, slowly trickled out, or maybe even an anomaly with our plumbing. You don't have a clue. I'm being logical. Once you eliminate the impossible. There's something targeting our daughter, targeting her things. And you think it's some clever academic puzzle? No, I... I'm moving her back to our room. Sweetie, you're tired. You haven't slept all week. You've been inhaling a lot of pain fumes. Trust the quiz. Ghosts do not exist. No, you're wrong. And I have a proof. <laughs> don't, don't tell me, don't tell me. You're a ghost. No, but I've lived with one when I was three. Ben, you know imaginary friends don't exist, right? It's not funny, Lauren. I had to have an exorcism. Yeah, all right. I wasn't going to tell you. I thought you might not take me seriously. You think? That's why I believe you, Jenny. What happened? If I say, is he going to give me an all that and piece of my chips? Your palm frites shall remain unurinated upon for now. All right. I told you I grew up around here, right? One of the houses we rented was down by the waterworks near the marshes. Nice area. It was rough back then, mid-70s. And there had been a murder in one of the houses. Stabbed the bloke and bled all over the floor, dripped through the ceiling into the living room. However, many times they cleaned it, the blood stain would always come back. Was this your house? Nah, another one. But you know, it was that kind of street. Always dark, even during the day. I think that's what we call atmosphere. We lived at number 27. Moved there when I was three and my sister was two. Oh, this is her now. Beverly. Hmm, nice, uh, nice tattoos. Will you shut up? Uh, sorry, I was just being... A condescending prick. 
Laws, as always, has the correct diagnosis. Sorry, go on. It's been a month when it all started. My sister was saying strange things, stuff she couldn't possibly know. Hitler, the Blitz. One time she told mom that we should go underground to hide from the bombs. I mean, how the hell she know that, a two-year-old? And then, and then one morning, my mom saw something. She was a seance, talked to ghosts in visuals. So she went in the kitchen and saw this little old lady standing by the window. The old lady said, hello. And my, mama said, and my mom said hello back. And then she heard one of us called. And when she turned back, the old lady was gone. Was she scared? Not really. Mom said the spirit seemed friendly. It would have been okay if just stopped there. But my sister kept saying how the old lady came to visit us in our room after lights out. And I saw it too. A few days later, Mom was doing vacuuming when she heard me and Beth sing a song. In an old Dutch garden by the old Dutch mill when the moon was dreaming on a distant hill. Know it? No. Know no. it? What about you, Alexa? I don't understand the question. Well, neither had Mom. But then she asked my gran, who said it was from the 1940s. But the thing is, my mom said what got her was the way we sang, the little gaps between each line, like we were learning the song. And Beth says, come in, mommy. The lady doesn't mind. Oh my god. So that's when she called the priest, sprinkled holy water, and asked the old lady to leave us alone. But my mom said it was like the old lady didn't, didn't even realize she was dead, thought it was still her home. It's the saddest idea of all, to be a ghost and not even realize it. If I was irrelevant and invisible to the ones I love, that would make me want to throw things or scare people in my house. So, you're going to pick it apart? I would love to, but I can't. It's nonsense. You are free. You heard it from your mom. We need to talk to her. My mom is dead! <sighs> I think I'll make some tea. Listen, the universe is full of chaos and our brains are constantly searching for patterns. Perception is a choice, turning into stories we can tell others. We're all going on a bear hunt, but when you look into its big, goggly eyes, what do you see? Do you see hunger? Do you see loneliness? Maybe that old lady wasn't a ghost, just an old lady seen by a tired mom who cares about her kids. Bullshit! What about me and my sister singing that song? You heard it from somewhere, probably your gran, who, by the way, knew the song, which is... Glenn Miller. It's on his greatest hits. And, an old Dutch garden by an old and now, if you'll excuse me, I am knackered. It's been a long day, folks, but we all know how this is going to end. Coward! Pardon? You're outnumbered. Three against one. We believe, and you hate that, don't you? Yes, I hate that you all would be so stupid. My mom knew what she was talking about. She saw the older lady and spoke to her. What if I had a message for you, mate? Ben. It means something to you. 2.22. What are you talking about? You know why it comes at that time? Of course I don't. Then you will. Shoot. Good night, all. You're like my old man. Mom said he slept with the lights on. Didn't believe in ghosts, but hated the dark. Is that you, hey, Sammy? Hate was hiding when the light can reach. Right. I will stay up just to see the look of disappointment on your faces. <laughs> and they're back again. Is this house? We never argued before we came here. We never argued before we had a kid. Is this our fault? We've been so unkind to this house. We stripped it. Years and years of love, growing up, marrying, layers after layers of, I don't know, someone else's stories, and we pulled it all out. We made it nicer. Lauren, can you diagnose my wife, please? I'm sorry, I 
with your friends. We promised Margaret we'd look after the house. Oh, my poor friend's wardrobe. You burnt it in the garden. You burnt it? Yes, while you were at your mom's. It was ugly. Oh, come on. Sorry, Frank. Stop it! Jesus. Jen. You put our daughter in danger! I'll go! Maybe I should take a look at the bedroom? So, whose side are you on? I'm Switzerland. Parrots. What? I was thinking, there's no way Laws will believe this crap. But then the more I think about it, Jesus Christ, you going off on your beautiful phantom ghost mates and her phantom parrots. They were parakeets. Cut. I didn't know how to respond. You laughed. Sorry. I probably wasn't the only one. I didn't tell anyone else. Did you actually lose your phone on a trip? Yes, I did. Why would I lie? Maybe the idea of Jenny sitting here, scared, needing you. I didn't know she was scared. There was no ghost before I left. Were you doing all of this? Leaving the windows open? Drowning Mr. Bear? Perhaps you never even went on a trip. You just sat and hid here, creeping Jenny out. That is completely fucked up! You love to be in control. I think you'll find I watched you through that quiz. Were you even drinking? Three shots of whiskey in there. Your lips didn't even touch the cup, you cheap. Is this your master plan? Stay sober? Let us go wild and fight it out? Not everyone enjoys drinking as much as you. Did you go on your trip? Of course I bloody did! <sighs> okay, sorry. But if that's true, there's only one possible explanation. There is a ghost. Ben says her room has a feel. I've moved her. You left them up there by himself? Hey, what are you doing? Putting a crucifix up. Jenny, this is getting out of hand. Let's let's talk about this. Nothing to talk about. I'm looking after my child. Our child! Give it to me! Uh, get out of my way! Get the fuck away from me! Believing? Is this what this is all about? Do you miss it? I need to protect Phoebe! The only thing she needs protecting from is you! I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean that. to compromise, say to her, okay, maybe you did hear something. Believe in ghosts? And what's next? The earth is flat. There's no climate change. <sighs> That's your wife we're talking about. I worry about you, Sammy. Understanding more about how gravity works doesn't stop you from falling. All done. I got to compliment you on this place. Holly trees have haven't looked like before. But that's what you do, isn't it? Your lot. Pardon? You come in, you take these old houses, wipe them clean with your expensive doors and cheap builders, sneering at the people who used to live here. Progress, mate. You know what? I sold my mom's house to a couple like you. Listen to them, walking around, laughing at her furniture and carpets. And then, I spent my whole life working for people like you. How smug and fragile like the rest of them. If I were Margaret and Frank, I'd hunt you! Lawrence always had terrible taste in men! Right! I've had enough from this ass! Then let's go! And miss all the fun! She's back in her room with a crucifix over her cot. Jenny, I've tried to listen! I've listened enough! I've tried to explain! Oh, you have. Living with you is one long bloody lecture! You know. He even explained childbirth to me. Well, I'm not one of your students or idiots. I don't need any explanation. I need to do something. Ben, I'm ready. We're going to try and make contact. With what? With whatever is in this house. Ben's blunt waste from his mother. 
Oh, what a load of bollocks! That's it! He's not staying in my house! Sorry, Lauren. Alexa, book a fucking Uber. Oh, book a fucking Uber for crying out loud! You've turned her against me! Who is irrational now? And you need to stay away from my wife! Where's my fucking phone? You lost it, didn't you? I'm walking to the cab office. Huh. I see it now. Ben's right. You're scared of all of it. The facts, scientific theories. It's a war. I thought he was there to shut me up. But actually, he's to protect you from your biggest nightmare where everything can't be explained. No, I... Well... Hands up for speaking to the spirit. Laws. Who put Mr. Bear in the sink, Sam? How did the white spirit get in there? I... I don't know. Let's reach out. We need a circle of light. I can imagine Victorian summoning the other side right now. This might get weird. Is this safe? It's fine. If you follow my instructions, everyone. Fuck's sake. <sighs> All right, switch to our phones. We need total focus. Right. In the name of God and Jesus Christ. So much for not being religious. Better safe than sorry. Protect us from the evil. Let us communicate with the spirit and entities of the light. And if there are entities of the darkness, then let us be strong enough to overcome them. Amen. Shit got real. The spirits want to contact this. Margaret. I can't believe we're doing this. Yes, we know Margaret has a connection with this house. So please, let us all put our hands on this table. She's going to use it to communicate and understand this. It may move. Jenny. Silence. Margaret, are you there? Oh, oh bollocks. Oh, sorry about that. <coughs> Margaret, we hope when you're ready, you are come into the light. <coughs> Margaret, please give us a sign. Sorry, there's only so much bullshit I can swallow in one setting. Lauren, hope to see you soon. Ben, we've got your business card. Sit down! You don't need me for the circus. If you want me and Phoebe to still be here when you wake up, sit down now! Oh, fuck's sake. All right, let's try again. Margaret, we are focusing all our powers right now, fella. Asking you to join us. If you're here, please give us a sign. Did you feel that? Thank you, spirit. Are we? Talking to Margaret? Shit, shit! It's working! I told you! 
Oh, for God's sake, he's doing it. Fine. He'll take my hands off. Margaret, are you still there? Focus. Keep your hands still. God bless you. We're not doing anything. Jenny, this isn't real. There, there must be an explanation. Well, go on, Albert fucking Einstein. You're moving the table. You just don't know you are. I'm concentrating really hard on not moving it. Right. The harder you try not to do something, the more likely you are to do it. I think you are fine. He's making this up. He's not. It's called the white bear effect. Jenny, don't think of a white bear. Now all you can think of is a white bear, right? Thank you, Laws. Let's call it a night. Hit the lights. But you still believe? You saw your friend, Ida, the parakeets. Maybe I was wrong. It's over, Jen. Let's go to bed. No! Something traveled through my arms! They're called nerves. <laughs> Patronize her again. Stay the bloody hell out of this, mate. So you can bully your wife into agreeing with you? Ben, calm down. Or what? You're gonna hit me again? Wait, that's my song? Alexa, stop the bloody music. Alexa, stop the music! Okay. Believe Jenny! Get off my wife! Or what, mate? Margaret, are you still there? Good on you, mate! You, me, the bottom damn layer! Is it you walking in Phoebe's room? I'm warning you. Is it another spirit? You're, you're doing this. Is the spirit connected to someone here? Someone in this room? Jenny, please, let go. <gasps> Margaret, can you move the table towards this person? No, no, no. No, no. no, no. You're doing this. You're doing this. No. Jenny, oh, please, we'll forget everything and go back to how things work. Just, just stop. Matt, no, no, no. ask it. Oh, Jenny, Sam or Phoebe in danger. I said stop. <laughs> What have you done? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Darling! Stop! Sam! <laughs> Calm down, Jen! For God's sake, stop! Something's in here! Oh, oh my God. Get out! Get out! Is it still in here? Is it? You must have climbed out the window when the lights went out. Don't worry, everything can be... Explained? Your hands are cold. I love you. No, you love what you made me. But I, I want to know if the old me is still there, under all the layers of you. We, we can talk about it. I promise. I'll listen. Still doing this? Yes. What are you doing? I'm putting her back to her room. Are you insane? 
if I can prove to you this thing is here, and if you can hear too, then maybe there's hope. We can all leave this fucking house behind. Ben won't come in. Hope he's feeling guilty, bullshitting bastard. Are you gonna see him again? He lives with me. Not much of a choice. We're going on the bear hunt. We're hunting on a big one. Never to tell us how it happened. It was you, wasn't it? What? You put the white spirit on him. <laughs> That's insane. It's, it's the only sane that could have happened. You took it in there, then came out pretending you found it. Why? To prove Jenny's ghost exists? Even if it means cheating? I don't care about her ghost. It was for you. I want to prove that, that you can be wrong, that you can make a mistake. Remember that night at the Union when I told you about Ida? I loved you and I thought you understand. But all you did was laugh and mock me. Been doing it ever since. Well, what if you're correct? Maybe, maybe I was wrong for once. Three minutes. No, I, nothing will happen. Things cannot appear and disappear. Who the hell is that? I'll go, don't worry. Hello? Sorry for calling so late. Police officers, Constable Miller, and my partner, Sterling. Oh. May we come in? Sorry, you just... I mean, I thought you'd just call. Uh, my problem, not something you can help with. You've been expecting this? Yeah, but I should have never phoned you. Anyway. Mrs, would you care to take a seat, please? We've been contacted by a police team off-road. Pardon? It's from the island, where her husband has been staying. Has he done something wrong? We believe he was involved in an accident. Oh, God! Has he hurt someone? Is this what this is? No, ma'am. Listen, there's no easy way of telling you this. But your husband, Sam, is dead. <laughs> no Excuse me, miss? Sam's right here! Pardon? He's... Oh, he went outside. I'm so sorry, Jenny. Ben, what have you done? Ma'am, I know that this is very difficult. No. We believe he fell from a cliff while walking at night. Sam? It happened on a remote part of the island. Sam! It's taken us several days to recover his remains. Four, we think. He had dinner with us. He ate with you. Well, he, he didn't touch the food. Ben, where is he? He didn't drink anything. Sam! Oh, no, no, no. Sam! 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 He's here. Ma'am, I know that this is really hard to believe. No, you're wrong. He had his photo ID on him. And his phone. I'm sorry, ma'am. If there's any consolation, the last call you tried to make was to you. Dated early Wednesday morning. Timed at... 2.22. It was him! It was him! <laughs>
<laughs> Hello. Uh, Police Constable Miller here to announce that the performance has now ended. I just want to say thank you all so much for coming tonight and watching the 22nd English Drama Club of Polly perform our own rendition and adaptation of Danny Robbins' 222, A Ghost Story. Uh, another plot twist, I'm not actually a police officer. I'm your director today, Anthony Yip. And I just want to say that it was an absolute, absolute pleasure to be able to create theater and entertain you guys on such an enormous stage. And this could not have been done if it weren't for the organizers of the Chang Cheng Studio Theater. So please, big round of applause to them. Another big thanks to the camera over there, our film crew of ESP, Exposure Studio Productions, for lending us this technology and giving us the power to be able to create, uh, create promotion and our very own trailer and our film version which will be posted on YouTube, so check out our Instagram and our just YouTube account, which will be posted quite soon after this performance if you guys all want to destroy your ears again with those very, very loud fox noises. I apologize for that. So big round of applause to them as well. Another enormous thanks to the ELC English Language Center presidents, supervisors, staff, and professors, because without them, the English Drama Club wouldn't even exist. So in a sense, thank you for giving birth to our club. Big round of applause to them. And one last final thank you to all of you guys for being such an amazing audience. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. And with that final message, this is on behalf of the 22nd English Drama Club. Thank you. Sorry, I think I'm forgetting something. Is there anyone else on the stage that I should be thanking? Anyone? The bear? I love the bear. Alexa? Thank you, Alexa. Thank you, thank you. Anyone else? No? No? Damn, you guys are mean. The actors! Please welcome the cast of 222, a ghost story, Vivian Cho! Yeah! Liu Fangsheng Jackson! Carmen Yu! Nawal Nasir! <laughs> Cheng Heilam Adam! <laughs> Justin Zhao! <laughs> Mila Lee! <laughs> Constance Wong! And Scott Chad! <laughs> and this would not have been possible if it weren't for my two assistant directors back there, Tyner Badrani and Blake Liu. <laughs> and another big, big, big thank you to the props, costumes team and makeup team managers Si Xian Song, Nikki Cheng, and Nasha Boon Park, and the entire makeup and the whole backstage team, come on out. And the two doors. <laughs> and last and certainly not least, Our Majesty, our Queen herself, the president of 22nd English Drama Club of Poly U, Elsie Ha! Once again, thank you all so much for coming tonight. <laughs> and on behalf of the 22nd English Drama Club, thank you and have a good night. <laughs> this happened yesterday as well, the curtains didn't close. So while we're at it, does anyone have any questions?
Anyone? Any hands? The few boys at the back over there <laughs> pondering. Any questions over there? <laughs> I noticed you guys got a very, very scared of our fox noises. And maybe one of you was sleeping. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> if not, then thank you all so much. And have a good night once again. See you all at 222.